class it's Mr. Betts and it's that time of year again yes it's the holiday season now I know among the hardest people to buy for are probably history geeks it can be a little bit intimidating you're not sure what to get them maybe it's a parent maybe it's a friend or a teacher maybe it's somebody special but either way you want to get them something that seems really really cool and impressive and you don't know what to do I'm here to save you I'm gonna give you Mr. Betts class history geek holiday gift-giving guide some of them will be less history related than others. All of them will have links down below. So if you are interested in them, just use the link down below. It actually helps the channel out a little bit. Gift number one is this guy. Look, it's a little George Washington. Yes, this is made by a company called the Unemployed Philosophers Guild from their line called the Little Thinkers. They have tens and tens of these little characters here. This is George Washington. They have a whole bunch of history characters, philosophers, science, art, literature, math. They have all these kind of intellectual puns, these novelty gifts. This is Baby Q's over here, one of the first gifts I gave him, and it still looks really, really good. He's about a year old now, so it holds up well. Also, one of the first gifts I gave him was this, this homemade mobile from their little finger puppets. There's Madame Curie and Martha Graham and of course Teddy Roosevelt and Tesla and Mozart. Yes, these are awesome gifts and they're not a sponsor, but all disclosure, they actually sent me a package full of stuff. I haven't opened it yet, so let's do a little unboxing. I've never actually received swag on this channel before, so if you're a company that sells cool stuff like this, let me know. I'll let, I'll let you send me some stuff. I'll make that sacrifice, you know, for you. I have no idea what's in this box. Oh, I'm gonna poke myself with a scissor. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is the coolest ever. Teddy Roosevelt, Benjamin Franklin, and then a whole bunch of little guys. Robert E. Lee and Ulysses S. Grant. They were actually, they're actually magnetized together right now, so that's that's gonna be awkward. Harriet Tubman, Sojourner Truth, and Alexander Hamilton. Yes, get this for the Hamilton fan. Betsy Roth and Emma Goldman, Thomas Jefferson, right there. Yes, the Unemployed Philosophers Guild, and it's not just dolls, it's mugs and shirts and all of these weird little things that the intellectual uh, uh, person that you have to buy for will appreciate. What's next? Uh, you're given a gift. You're given a gift. Maybe you're given a gift for a kid that's into history, but like you don't want to give them a full-on book because it's kind of like you're assigning them a book report. I love historical graphic novels. So, Jonathan Hennessy and Aaron McDonald have made historical graphic novels. This one I particularly love called the Gettysburg Address. This one is the U.S. Constitution, and it does a really good job of getting a lot of those kind of hard to understand or hard to bring to life con uh, concepts. This one, March by uh, Congressman John Lewis. This is book one, I believe there's three books right now. If you're not looking for graphic novels but you still wanna have YA literature uh, to give, you can always check out Chains, uh, Chains by Laura Hall Sanderson. Or I always recommend The Witch of Blackbird Pond, which of course I don't have with me right now because I keep it in my class and my kids keep on taking it out and keep on borrowing it from me. So check them out. If you're giving for a slightly older history geek, uh, check out On the Map. What history geek doesn't like maps? And this one's all about maps and the history behind them, cartography itself, and like how these maps really reflect our culture. And if they're not so much a history geek, they're just a geek in general. Bill Bryson's A Short History of Nearly Everything Illustrated Edition is the best one because it's got beautiful pictures in it and it like goes through everything in a way that you actually laugh about it. It's really good. I've never read anything like this before. This is great. And this is, wow, this is heavy. That's it for books. If you want a little bit more of an artistic gift, let me recommend. So what, it's a postcard, right? No, it's not just a postcard. It's Mr. Betts Class Historical Portrait Postcard. Yes, you can get a historical portrait postcard with the historical portrait of your choosing on the back. Check it out, it's Alexander Hamilton. And there are two ways to get this. You can go to my website, mrbetsclass.com, link down in the description, and you can order one just flat out. I'm gonna drop the price down to $15 per card. Considering this takes me like 20 minutes, half an hour to do, that's a pretty good price. Or you can uh, support me on Patreon, and all Patreon levels of $5 or more get a postcard as well. Now this one's not very historical, I guess it's historical because it's patterned after some of the first ones. 
but it's kind of cool and you're never too late to learn new things. A penny board! Yes, I have recently got a penny board. I'm trying to teach myself how to skateboard, mainly because I live a mile away from my train and it would be really advantageous for me to be able to cut down that 20 minute walk to a five minute skate. I'm getting okay at it. I wouldn't go to the train yet with it, um, but it's pretty lightweight. I got mine in orange, of course, for the color and green, so it looks like a Ninja Turtle. Not too bad, link down in the description. Now, if you're looking to get a gift for someone who's trying to make their own YouTube channel, remember I am a historical YouTuber, Two recommendations. First off, tell them don't worry about how your videos look. People are really forgiving for video, but audio, your audio should sound good. Here's two things you can get. First, you can get this bad boy here, the Blue Yeti. Blue Yeti is really superior sound. Um, you can set it up a couple of feet away if you're doing on-camera stuff. If you're just doing narration stuff, it is perfect. It is great for that or like podcasting. Not too expensive, it's, you know, it's up there, but you're actually, you're really getting what you're paying for in this. Another mic that is really going to make a difference in your audio game that I'm using right now is a shotgun mic called the Rode VideoMic Pro. It's the mic that sits on top of the camera. You plug it directly in and you get superior, I'm talking superior audio quality. Again, when you're making videos, people are really forgiving for visual quality, but audio quality, that makes them go running for the hills if it's bad, so. Probably one of these two mics here will really help that geek uh, that you're shopping for. Your history geek has got to get around with his or her stuff, so for that I recommend, boom, this awesome Boba Fett Mandalorian backpack here. I switched back to a backpack this year because I had been doing a messenger bag forever. It was killing my shoulders, and you know what? This backpack, it's actually a laptop backpack, and it is fantastic. They're on the other side. So you open it on up in here. I have a beast of a laptop. It's gigantic, fits right in there. There's a smaller pocket if you have a smaller one. Like I can put my uh, MacBook Air in there, get my iPad in here, plenty of room in here. And I really love, there's a million pockets all over the place. Like this is the perfect size for my wireless mouse. You have these pockets here, these pockets here, these pockets here, 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 another one over here. The other day, my kid found a pocket here. I didn't even know it existed here. Yesterday I was in the supermarket and the checkout girl was like, yo, that's a nice backpack. She actually took down the information on it. If the person that you're buying for isn't that big into Star Wars, tell them, boom, they can just cut that part off right there. And that's the only thing that actually says Star Wars on it. Otherwise, it's a great backpack and you can also buy the matching wallet linked down in the description. Something that's not nearly as expensive but is really fun for history geeks of all ages, this. If you, if you don't know what this is, this is a Nine Men's Morris game. Uh, this game was played in the Middle Ages. It was played in the colonial period. It's kind of, it, I wanna say that it's like checkers, but it's nothing like checkers. It's just this really awesome, simple game that it's easy to get the technique of and then anyone can play it. And it's not very expensive, but it makes you feel really cool because you're playing a game that's been around for like hundreds of years and stuff. So my, Nine Men's Morris, link down in the description. Mod Podge, what is it? Well, it's a sealer, a glue, and a finish all in one. So, well, if your history geek is also pretty crafty, they either have some of this and are running low, or they don't have this yet and they would love it because what you can do is you can make like custom furniture with it Like you lay down the images on top on the the furniture top that you want and you lay this down And you make this awesome finish to it. It seals it on um, so it looks really great I'm actually gonna use this with a map that I picked up on my desk um, Might as you know what I'll put the map in the description as well. You can pick one of those up, too um, But uh, so you can see what I'm talking about I think it's gonna come out really really well and I think it's gonna make Make it really unique for me and isn't that what you want for your history geek ah. and my last and most important recommendation for the history geek you're buying for boom the first official mr. Betts class t-shirt yes it's been a long time coming but I finally made one um, it's actually so new that I haven't even received mine yet but yes you can get this 
beautiful t-shirt and you can help out Mr. Best Class uh, while you're doing it. And also people said that I was a little hard on Trump. So I'm gonna make available the Make America Learn Again t-shirt that I made earlier in his campaign. He won, so this one's available again. So that's my holiday gift giving guide for this year. Hopefully that has given you some ideas for the history geek in your life. If you liked any of them, you can use the descriptions down there. And even if you don't like these particular gifts, but you know you're going to Amazon, use one of my links and it really helps out the channel if you do so. Happy holidays to you all. Be safe and I'll see you next time.